everyone, I'm Hong Yin Dai. I'm a VP of Engineering at Second State. Today, I would like to introduce our WebAssembly Runtime, SSVN, including why do we choose WebAssembly, why do we have to develop our own WebAssembly virtual machine, what is the benchmark scores of our SSVN, and what is our roadmap for porting SSVN on RISC V platform? Developers always prefer to build cross platform software whenever it's possible. Picture this there are several applications written in various programming languages, including C, Golang, Rust, and even the Onyx. AI models. In the case of application deployment on multiple platforms, we encounter the same challenge. We always try to look for an easy way to make all applications run on the different target platform. The main goal of this project is to compile an application once and make the compiled results portable and runnable on multiple devices. Here is an overview of our scenario. Nowadays, there are lots of new languages are invested for diverse purposes. The difficulty of deployment of multiple front-end languages on different platforms has become more and more complex. With WebAssembly as an intermediate binary format, we can convert all of the programs from various programming languages into a general, portable, and cross-platform execution representation. And the best thing is that modern compilers can generate WebAssembly modules by default. Developers don't have to worry about the support state of WebAssembly backend. For example, EN Scripten, Binary EN, and LLVM provide a way to compile C and C++ programs into WebAssembly modules. Besides, even AI models, which is not a programming language, can also be compiled into WebAssembly modules. If you are interested, you can use Skymizer's Onyx compiler to do that. After these applications are compiled into WebAssembly modules, Second State Virtual Machine, which is the general WebAssembly execution runtime, takes the responsibility to run these applications on multiple hardware platforms. For running in domain-specific applications, we integrate SSVN with several extension libraries and allow users to leverage hardware acceleration by runtime customization. With this project, applications can be deployed to various target platforms easily. But why WebAssembly when I use our format? The reason is that the standard of WebAssembly is super open. Anybody can join the working group, create a spec proposal, and dive into the community quickly. Besides, WebAssembly has three major advantages, portability, efficiency, and safety. WebAssembly is a platform-independent format. All of the compatibility issues will be handled by the WebAssembly runtime itself. Also, WebAssembly is designed as close as possible to native machine instructions. With our high-level grammar and instructions, it can be easily transformed into native assembly with very low overhead. Also, WebAssembly runs in a sandbox environment. Only limited and approved external host functions can be called. In our scenario, we only accept host functions for some specific operators, such as uh, getting a random number from libc or running some AI operators like convolution. 
In addition, WebAssembly is powered by TrickW Consortium and is supported by several big companies such as Mozilla, Microsoft, Google, and Apple. Moreover, WebAssembly has a huge developer community that provides rich, abundant tool chains and supports for many popular programming languages such as C++, Golan, and Rust. Then, let's talk about our our runtime, our WebAssembly virtual machine, uh, the second state virtual machine. SSVM supports full WebAssembly spec version 1.1 and is released with Apache 2.0 license. We are asked the same question several times. Why we have to create our own runtime, even if there are several WebAssembly runtimes are published? such as V8 from Google, and Wasentine, and WFVM. Well, you know, uh, this is not reinventing the wheel. Because our focus is to bring WebAssembly to everywhere, including blockchain, AI, and other specific domains. It will be easy to add a number of experimental extensions and do several performance experiments on these domains extensions. For example, we provide EEI, which is the Ethereum Environment Interface, uh, which is an interface to allow users interact with the blockchain ecosystem and allow users to access the blockchain state in their applications. And we also provide uh, the storage interface, which allows user to develop their own applications on function as a service infrastructure without worrying about how to handle the database or how to save or get the data. We, we just have a, a, a interface to, to take care all of it. Moreover, we integrate the uh, Qualcomm Hascon SDK to enable the AI operator accelerations. For various use cases, SSVM provides two execution engines. One is uh, a general interpreter for stable and simple programs, uh, just like the blockchain smart contracts. And the other engine is an ahead of time compilation tool for computation-intensive applications, like uh, comparison JPEG photo or generating RSA key pair. We also know the need of language bindings for developers' convenience. Uh, SSVM provides not only a standalone WebAssembly runtime, but also an NPM package for Node.js binding. And we have plan to uh, add more language binding in the future. Uh, then I'm giving you an example to show how we combine WebAssembly with AI inference models. Developers can train their models with many frameworks, such as Cafe, PyTorch, or TensorFlow. The only thing they have to do is to uh, convert their AI models into Onyx format. We can use the Onyx Watson project to uh, convert the Onyx models uh, into WebAssembly executable with our customized AI runtime extensions. Okay. Then this WebAssembly executable can be built offline and then uh, be uh, distributed to any class. Then users have to install our SSVN on the target platform and deploy their uh, executable on SSVN. When the SSVN run these AI applications, it will dispatch all of the AI operators to related host functions. Our customized AI runtime library can identify the target platform, uh, even if you use the CPU or uh, the OpenCL library on GPU or CUDA library on GPU, uh, even if the Qualcomm has gone SDK on, on the DSP, we can all support. So the 
with this customized runtime library, we have the ability to leverage the Maxima hardware accelerations. Uh, in this example, the AI runtime library integrates uh, the uh, Qualcomm Hexagon SDK for enabling the DSP speed up. Uh, if you are in interested, you can uh, just check the uh, reference link in the uh, last page. The default SSVN engine uh, is an interpreter. Uh, as we all know, the interpreter is very small to run uh, computation-intensive applications. To solve this bottleneck and improve the runtime performance, we implement the ahead of time compilation technology with the LLVM framework. Okay. Uh, first of all, users compile their uh, applications into WebAssembly modules, just like the, uh, the, the first part. And if the WebAssembly modules are emitted the first time, SSVN will call the SSVN compiler to compile the WebAssembly modules into the native binary and also cache it. So we don't need to uh, compile it again and again. We, we just need to compile it once. And and the generated binary uh, depends on the target platform. The SSVN compiler will try the best to use the more efficiency native instructions. Then uh, SSVN will call SSVN runner to load and run the native binary and handle the environment variables, arguments, and also the pre-open directory and files for it. With the ahead of time compilation mode, we can make the WebAssembly applications gain the near native speed. Okay. And here are some future works on our long-term roadmap. For improving the performance, we are going to provide the fix with CMD instructions also the multi-thread and bulk memory support. To reduce the memory checking overhead, we are replacing the boundary check in every memory access instructions with the uh, signal-based exceptions. Also, it's very hard to uh, debug when we convert the WebAssembly modules into the native binaries. So SSVM needs to provide the default format debugging information for figuring out the locals when an error occurred. Now it's time to see some performance scores. You know, uh, in a very early stage, we just use some small programs to benchmark our performance. And we are going to add more complex applications as benchmarks in the future. Uh, these benchmarks come from the computer language benchmark scan. The reference link is attached in my last patch. So if you are interested, you can check it. We choose some famous programs such as binary tree. Uh, this is to create a perfect binary tree. So it will test lots of the memory allocation operators. And we choose Redux. We choose the uh, mandible set and embody simulation uh, just for the uh, 14 point number computation and uh, array access operations. Uh, and we also write some programs to test the file I.O. So you, you can see the uh, file uh, concat net. And also we just want to test the, the core start time. So we write an empty main function called NUP. All of these programs are written in C or C++ and compiled to WebAssembly with EN scripting and set the optimization level to level 3. We run these benchmarks on both AX64 and X86 platform. So uh, as you can see here on the X86 platform, we run the benchmarks on AWS EC2 M5 X large instance. So if you are interested, you can just clone our repository and run on the same instance for uh, get this benchmark score by yourself. We 
compare the SSVN with the Google's V8, uh, which is a very famous JavaScript and WebAssembly runtime. Uh, as you can see here, SSVN is factor, faster in several items, including the code start time, and also if the uh, application are, uh, are having more heavy workload like the binary tree and um, just do lots of the memory allocation and the SSVN is is also faster than the V8. And here is the uh, benchmark score on AX64 platform. Uh, we run these benchmarks on AWS EC2 M6G X large instance. The result is just like the x86 platform, the SSVN has the advantage on the heavy workload applications. So you, you can check it. Uh, now let's talk about our roadmap on Risk Five. I think uh, this may be uh, the most interesting you. If the second stage brings SSVN on x86 and AX64 platform, we would like to step forward to port SSVN on Risk Five architecture. The roadmap contains two phases. Uh, it's very obvious. In the first one, we are going to make the interpreter run on Risk Five platform, especially on the uh, six bits platform, and make sure all of the WebAssembly spec test suite are passed. And also run our demo kits and more user applications on it. The first release date will be in December this year, December 2020. And the phase two, we are going to port the ahead of time compilation mode on the Risk V platform. Uh, we will focus on the RV64 first. Uh, after we make sure everything is good, we will move forward to the RV32 then. Okay. And for your reference, here are those projects I mentioned in this talk. Uh, you can follow our website and blog for the uh, first review of the SSVN on RISC-V. Uh, thank you so much.